I said, guess what? What? We have one final weekend right here at the Robin Hood Springtime Festival. Next weekend, the final weekend. So we hope if you had a good time that you'll come back and bring your friends and, and your neighbors and them. Uh, your dog. Your dog. Yes. That's right. Next weekend, I believe, is pet weekend. Uh, so you can bring your dogs and other pets. I seem to have mine with me all the time. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see you next weekend. Baskets right there, CDs in the back. Remember, we are indeed the one. And the only minstrels troop known as Volga Moon. Get him out. Again, thank you so very much. Do not go away because up next on the stage immediately is the finale and song led by his glorious um, eminence and, and uh, uh, the Lord Mayor who is making his way to the stage even as I speak, except he's taking the long route. Oh, I'm taking the How are you doing, my? So, Don't ladies and gentlemen, up. please give your applause for the Lord Mayor! Good day! Good day, my lords and ladies! My lords and ladies, welcome to our final revel! Huzzah! 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 Now, my lords and ladies, first I have a question for you to my voters, to villagers, to the, the merry men of Sherwood Forest. My lords and ladies, did you have a glorious day today? <laughs> well, as a wrap up for our day, we are pleased to present to you some of the finest entertainers in all of Nottingham and the surrounding areas. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody raise your glasses. Here's the game of ten toes that's played all over town. The girls, they play with ten toes up, the lads with ten toes down. <laughs> and so, my lords and ladies, I would like to present unto you first the remarkable magician and now musician, my lords and ladies, Brett Blackshear! <laughs> This is short, did he? And then I'll do something for real. 
as I walked out on the streets of the Ren Fair. <laughs> I walked out in the Ren Fair one day. I spied a young Rennie, all dressed up in chain mail. I spied a young Rennie as cold as the clay. I see by your outfit that you are a Rennie. I see by your outfit that you're Rennie too. We see by our outfits that we are all ready. And if you get an outfit, you could be a Randy. <laughs> Some friends and I in a public house playing dominoes one night went into the room of arm and came his face all chalky white. What's up, says Brown? Have you seen a ghost? Have you seen your Aunt Mariah? <laughs> oh, the Aunt Mariah be booger, says he. The bleeding pub's on fire. Oh, no. oh well, says Brown, what a bit of luck. Everybody follow me. We'll go down to the cellar if the fire's not there and we'll have a grand old spring. So we went down after good old Brown, the beer we could not miss. And we hadn't been there ten minutes or more till we were quite blank. <laughs> and there was Brown hanging upside down. Somebody shouted back in time. And we all got blue flying paralytic drunk when the old gun cow caught flying. Then <laughs> Smith went over to the port wine cup and gave it to the two hard knocks. Started taking off his pantaloons, likewise his shoes and socks. Hold on, says Brown, you can't do that. That thing's not allowed in here. Don't go washing your trousers in the port wine tub. We've got Guinness beer. <laughs> of course, like. <laughs> and there was Brown hanging upside down, mopping up the whiskey on the floor. Everybody shouted back in time. Back in time! And we all got blue blood paralytic drunk when the old dog cow caught fire. <laughs> then from outside the room came a mighty crash. Half the bloody roof caved in. We were almost drowned by the fireman's holes until we were almost sober. No! <laughs> So we got some tanks and some copper sacks, and we nailed ourselves inside. And we sat there getting leery eyed drunk while the old dung cow got fried. <coughs> fried. Oh, 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 fried. Oh, <laughs> and there we Hang it upside down. Pop it up the whiskey on the floor. Well, don't let them in till it's all drunk up. Somebody shouted back in time. Back in time! And we all got blue flying paralytic drunk when the old dumb cow got fired. When Brett lifted up his uh, his breeches like that, this man right here gave such a face. <laughs> what horror show if I walked in? Yes, yes. All right, but this well. Now, my lords and ladies, 
something special. Everyone say, ooh. ooh. Everyone say, ah. ah. Now, my lords and yes. ladies, this is what we like to call at the final revels a mashup day. You might well ask, what is a mashup day? What is a mashup day? Well, I'm so glad you asked. We bring disparate elements of entertainers from the fair to work together in what could be a howling disaster, but more often than not, is a source of merriment, a veritable musical earthquake. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yes, thank you. Thank you. My lords and ladies, I would like to present to you now, this is an odd one, my lords and ladies, Ivan from IB Spies. <laughs> Welcome, simple English farmer. No. My lords and ladies, Vixen's on guard! <laughs> and here's the real kicker, my lords and ladies, the Lord High Sheriff of Nottingham! <laughs> this act is a moral conundrum. We <laughs> <laughs> the whole game well, you may know that there is a bit of a, a feud between myself and the sheriff. We do not have much in common, the sheriff of Nottingham and I. <laughs> no, but uh, we decided there was one thing we didn't have in common, uh, and that was uh, our, our passion for a certain subject. Women. <laughs> yes, I've seen them once or twice before in life. <laughs> we do not have many of them where I come from, no, mostly just rocks. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, we'll, uh, uh, an all to the, the most beautiful girls in the room. That? Yeah, I got one knee for that, Excellent, one knee, and I will come over here because our voices suck at this part of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we will. Right, right. Give the audience low expectations. Nah. <laughs> Self deprecation, the best way to start. Nah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking around the room, I can tell that you are the most beautiful girl in the room. In the whole wide room. Ooh. And when you're on the street, depending on the street, I bet you are definitely in the top three. For the girls on the street, depending on the street. And when I saw you at my maid's place, I thought, what is she doing? At my maid's place, how did Dave get a hottie like that to a party like this good one, Dave? You're a legend, Dave. I asked Dave if he's gonna make a move on you. He's not sure. I said, Dave, do you mind if I do? He says he doesn't mind, but I tell he kind of minds, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm standing all alone by the stereo. I dim the lights down to very low. Here we go. You're so beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> waitress. Ooh. You're so beautiful, beautiful. You could be an air hostess in the 60s. You're so beautiful. Oh, you could be a part time model. Then I seal the deal. I do my moves, I do my dance moves. <laughs> Just me and you and seven other dudes around you on the dance floor. I join you near, let's get out of here. Let's get in the cab. I'll buy you a kebab. I can't believe that I'm sharing a kebab with the most beautiful girl I have ever seen with a kebab. <laughs> Why don't we leave? Let's go to my house and we can feel each other up on my couch. Oh no, I don't mind taking a slow. Uh oh, 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 yeah. Cause you're so beautiful, like a tree. Or a high class prostitute. Oh, you can be a part time model. But you'll probably still have to keep your normal job. Part time Part of your time modeling and part of your time next to me.
uh, scrupulous adherence to historical accuracy. <laughs> My lords and ladies, I would now like to present to you another mashup, another combination of entertainers, sure to produce interesting results. My lords and ladies, the Hopper and the Minstrel, and Sir Manic the Tax Collector! <laughs> I don't know that we really want to follow that. <laughs> Are you going to tell me I'm the most beautiful girl in the room? <laughs> as much as I have already said yes a thousand times, I think mayhap I'll sing of another great lady and of the scent of lavender. <laughs> When she came not again, and all who knew this lady were wrenched in more than pain. For how would they be comforted to have lost their lady fair, and never more be joyful at her laugh upon the air? There be no
place from the sublime to perhaps the freaky. My lords and ladies, I would like to present to you the remarkable Johnny Fox! Give me other ridiculous. Uh, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> well done, well done. Hello, hello, hello. Well, it's uh, the honor and treat to uh, be performing at this little tucked away corner here. Perchance, does anybody here indulge in tobacco? Yes. Does anybody here have uh, one of the one of those little white sticks of tobacco? It's for it's for an experiment. Maybe there is not one of you who does, but in a crowd this size, I thought it would happen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're one of a dying breed. <laughs> Pay attention. Nothing but. A little white stick in my hands here. This is a sleight of hand type of performing that was done many years ago with a stick like this. And uh, if you get it just right, it can uh, appear, appear as though it's going in places where it shouldn't. <laughs> no, no, no. If it's lit, if it's lit, there's other things that have uh, possibilities with it. <laughs> well, how do you do it? <laughs> how do you smoke those things? <laughs> Excuse me for smoking. I don't want to be a bad influence on the children. Kids, these are horrible, terrible, disgusting. Don't ever, ever smoke. I don't smoke, except for when I do this stupid trick. <laughs> Not you again. Anyway. <laughs> do the trick 20 times a day. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Watch closely. Uh, if I do this just right, there'll be a little circle that will loft about. Smoke ring. <laughs> No, no, no. I'll try a square. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I can't believe you people are watching. <laughs> Keep watching, though. It's still burning. Keep here. Here, here, here. Oh, I'm all right. But look. Wait, 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 wait. See the crowd of people all the way. <laughs> Everyone say, ooh. ooh. Yeah. Ah, because yes. I present to you not one harpist, not two harpists, not even three harpists, but four harpists on this stage, but five. <laughs> My God, they've, they've multiplied since the rebels started. <laughs> what is going on over there? My lords and ladies, five harpists for your entertainment. from the harbor and the minstrel playing a Ooh. large Celtic harp. Huzzah! <laughs> Kathleen Finnegan playing the Paraguayan harp. Excellent band. Susanna from Germany also playing a large Celtic harp. Ellen <laughs> 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 Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen Dale playing a small Celtic lap harp. Uh, the Clara Shirk of the traditional Irish wire strong harp. 
we're going to play a tune together where we're all going to take a few solos. This is called the Maltese Falcon or the Rustic Duck Dance. You will know why it's called that at the very end. <laughs> and my honor to present to you the Queen Mother of all England. Here among our friends, our visitors, one and all, I would like to present to you Queen Eleanor of Aquitaine! <laughs> Oh, let, me, let me sit by here. All right, thank you. Good day, Majesty. Good day, Good day. My dear. We, we are honored by your presence in Nottingham no, this day. I am honored by the most angelic music. Quite beautiful. Quite excellent. Beautiful. Well, excellent. Well, uh, Majesty, we would like to dedicate the next song to you. Oh, pardon oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> My lords and ladies, uh, your majesty, we would like to present to you on this glorious day, thank you, on this glorious day, thank you, uh, we would like to present to you the villages of Nottingham to sing you a song. Wonderful. Excellent. I appreciate that greatly. Excellent thank well, excellent you. well. Thank you, thank you. Gawain's mind. We wandered many a 